Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. In the world of emulation, 100% accuracy is always the end goal. The question is, are we there yet with Breath of the Wild in Simu? The answer is yes and no, depending on your interpretation. The game itself is fully playable start to finish and has been for quite some time. With the release of Simu 1.10.0, we saw the introduction of stereo sound which was a huge leap forward. So if Breath of the Wild is playable and completable, then what's left? For the average user, not much. For the coding developer, probably plenty. For many of us, the game is a pleasant experience, but definitely not for some. The minor issues that remain are an incorrect teleportation animation, in-game color accuracy could be improved, and accurate amiibo recognition. The larger issues relate to AMD and Intel GPU users who have quite the challenge on their hands with Breath of the Wild. The good news for Intel users is that there is currently an internal beta driver going through testing which improves most of the graphical issues. For AMD, your problems continue unless you go over to Linux where OpenGL support is much better than what AMD itself provides. Other than that, the ongoing quest for performance and optimization goes on and will do for a long time. Nvidia have not fixed the RAM usage issue and the Simu team can't do much about that. As regards using Vulkan, the Simu developers have not shown any interest in that. Long story short, if you have a capable system consisting of a modern CPU and Nvidia GPU with plenty of RAM and a good hard drive, you can play Breath of the Wild with little issue and all the benefits of improved FPS and resolution. But remember, the mission is never over for the Simu team, so who knows what the future holds. I've been The Complaining Gamer, thank you for watching. If you enjoy what I do, remember to hit that subscribe button. Take care, have an awesome day and I will see you next time.